trail is about three people, Robert, Emma and Jerry, obviously. Um, Robert and Emma are married. Uh, Robert and Jerry are best pals. And Emma and Jerry have an affair for seven years. And it kind of charts the affair from the end. And at the very end of the play, we see the beginning. I kind of, I don't think it's a major problem if you judge a character a little bit, because I think all of these people judge themselves. Um, and like normal human beings, we all judge our own behaviours. Mm. <laughs> and Pinter has written three very human characters. Um, they, they are deeply flawed, that makes them very interesting to play, I think. Uh, but our job is really to understand them and to find motivations and reasons for their actions. What's fascinating about Robert is um, that he, well, as Alison said, you know, they're all deeply flawed and, and, and tapping into that is, 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 is always fascinating for an actor and, um, and to do it without judgment. And, uh, but the thing that I found most fascinating to begin with is that he's such a closed book. He's so unforthcoming uh, and terse um, that you go, why would Jerry or anyone for that matter be friends with this guy? Moreover, why would Alison be married to him? You know, and and, um, you, and then, but what you have to do with anything, with any character really, but especially with Robert and especially with Pinter, I think, is really kind of mine his depth. You really have to bore into why this guy is the way he is. And the more you do that, the more you delve and kind of get into that, strip back that sort of buttoned up British exterior, the more you realize that behind that there is a person worth caring for uh, and who is actually a caring person and who's not beyond redemption. Uh, and I think it's, it's, it's that process which I love and which, which I find fascinating. You can't just play him as this stiff upper lip person who wears a mask the whole time and it'd be very one note and very boring and very easy to judge and that's not what human beings are. What Pinter does is he writes um, he writes real world conversations and you know we, we as human beings you spend so much time and effort uh, avoiding saying things you know um, you know talking yourself in circles tr just trying your hardest to avoid the one piece of information that you want to get across and um, and Pinter writes that these are conversations where usually you think there's nothing being said but that's exactly the point it's and so when he finally gets to the I guess gets to the point of what he's saying you've gone so far around not saying anything that it's just incredible the, the, the kind of torture that these characters, these people put themselves through. And I think that's what really comes across to the audience.